Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to show you an application called Faves for the Mac. And actually this application is number 10 in the Mac App Store so it's quite popular at the minute. Now the Faves is an application that basically pulls all your favourites in from various social networks. Now what I mean by favourites, if you perhaps start something on Twitter, like something on Facebook, maybe like something in Instant Paper, then this application pulls all that in to one place where you can view it easily. So let's get straight into the video so I can show you what this application is all about. Now I've got the application running in my dock and as you can see it's quite a simple looking application. Very similar to the actual reader application if you're familiar with that or even the Twitter application. Um, along the left hand side we've got all our social networks and our favourites. And then next to that we've got the actual favourites. Then we've got an actual browser window which each favourite will appear in when I click on it. So let me quickly show you. To the left is the, all the favourites, that's all, everything from all the different social networks. Then we've got the Twitter, which I've added personally myself, so it's pulling all my starred tweets in from Twitter. And I've also got Read It Later also pulling in. Now I'll go back to Twitter, and as you can see, it's got all my tweets I've starred. And if they're actual links within them tweets, it will actually be able to view them in the browser window to the right hand side, which is quite, ha quite handy. If I add more sources, to this application I can do by going to new source. So this application is compatible with quite a few um, social networks. We've got likes of Facebook, Google Reader, Instant Paper, Twitter, Vimeo, YouTube even and so on. And now all these social networks are quite unique and obviously unique to the sales. If you want to add YouTube you basically add in a channel, maybe one of your favourite YouTube channels and it will basically pull in all the new videos. On the likes of Facebook it will actually basically pull in anything you've liked within Facebook. So any status or web page you've actually liked, it will pull it into this application and so on. Each social network basically works slightly different depending on what it is, but its overall aim is to basically pull anything you've actually starred or favorited. Now when you actually launch the application, you actually get a little blue dot next to any new favorite which you've actually not viewed as of yet within the application. Also, you can remove any of the favorites within the application so for example I can just remove this one but it's not actually going to remove it from the actual social network it just removes it from this application. Now the application that can go into full screen if you choose to so this is quite handy if you've got a lot of favourites you want to basically have a look at, a lot of stories you want to read through or whatever that's quite handy but also what I do like about the application you can put into compact view and what compact view is is basically how it sounds it makes the application nice and compact so it doesn't take up too much room on your desktop and now if I want to view any of these actual favourites, I can just double click on them and they will open up in the browser. But also what I can do is I can actually just press spacebar on the actual favourite and it will bring it up in preview which is quite cool. So that's the application summed up pretty much. So it's quite a useful little application in that you can actually pull in all your favourites from various social networks into one place. I've actually got one copy of this application to give away. So if you'd like a chance to win, then please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also comment below and I'll be picking a winner out in about a week's time. So thanks for watching this video everyone, hopefully you found it useful. If you did then please obviously subscribe and also you can follow me on Twitter if you wish at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you later. Goodbye.